and we're up to 36 percent tasty that is pretty tasty and now we can not still go on to the next uh area because we have one more mission to do before dennis will do anything else in the main hub area so it's back to green park because we've got a second thing to do here that's right it's do you remember the uh very punny name of the second mission of green park no, it's over no. there it's the root canal It has nothing to do with dentistry, it's the other type of root. Ah, I got it. Because we're in a park which has plants and 18 nitro boxes in this area alone that we have to collect before we can do that. And it's the same 18 boxes as before, but again, the KNARF icons are in different locations. But. Makes things difficult. Yeah, the F is over there to tell us, uh where we're supposed to go. The fountain is raised up where it wouldn't before, so we can finally jump over the water to the root canal tree. But before that, of like a billion uh, nitro boxes and onion billies and fountains to fight. Luckily, they did not leave that uh, cage closed for the bat cage, or else we would have had to open that to get this nitro box, a very sneaky hidden one. If you're doing a root canal mission, you should think this door leads to the bat caves. Instead of the end being underground, they just put it over here on the bridge. Ow. It's a good spot for it. Yeah, but we still have to go underground to hit the switch. Instead of making all the fountains uh. up like it should have, because they are puzzle. Oh, it makes me angry! Well, it looks like this is going a lot faster, only we're missing a munch of the, uh, tokens. A munch? Is that what you said? Don't... ask me that question. Okay. No good answer can come from it. There we go. We already know where the F is, and the K needs the fountain switch, so does the R need the fountain switch, or am I R-tarded? Um... I'm gonna have to go with the second one because I do not know where that. There it is. And it needs the fountain switch, so let's go switch them. And hopefully we can find the last nitro box on our way because I'm still missing one. And I can't start that level until I've got every single one. Because people want me to get 100%. I took a little bit of fall damage from that damage. Ow. Yes. These bats still very. Paint. No, no! Oh, I don't even need to go up there, so. There we go. Hooray and stuff. Oh, good. Let me go up here and see if I can find that nitro box. I can't. There's Onion Billy, though. Billy. Tell me I hit that switch. You hit that switch. Is it true? I don't know. Oh, no. I've completely forgotten if I hit that switch or not. I'm officially the worst guy. Um, I need to find a switch that I remember if it was up or down. Okay, I hit it. Where everything is cool, retreat from your comment box telling me that I didn't need that switch because if you hadn't, he did. if you haven't noticed, I, I I don't get that comment in time. You're a bit late to my interests. I know you like to... It's what they get for commenting before they've watched the entire video. Yeah, don't bother trying to tell me something unless you have watched eight or ten weeks in advance. There it is. It was right by the entrance the whole time. Because Just like the uh, the hidden room on Starbucks. That's Star exactly Box. the one I was referencing. Because it's, it's probably been found. These videos are not lively updated or filmed once per week. That's right. I'm keeping you guys on a short leash. And now we can finally get over to the root canal if I don't screw up this jump. And with luck, I will collect the F and be out of health once I reach there, and just in time for a mini boss. Okay, this cage right on a tree there. Do you see this huge room inside this tree? Yeah, it's pretty huge. Though. Yeah, well, uh, look how. Appropriately, it's bleh, appropriately sized it is on the inside. 
we have a very sound effecty mini boss who does a very juicy chomping sound effect and a very um, addicting. Whoa! A very addicting sound effect when he gets hit. Listen for it. His neck. I love that sound effect. It's so addicting. You just want to hear it a thousand times. And it's very uh, catchy because you get the three. I like the chomp sound effect, actually. Yeah, this is a really good sound effect for this boss fight. Mini boss fight. And they don't even make you go on too long, because you just want to keep hearing these sound effects all freaking day. It even has a good death sound effect. Listen for it. There we go. Break into all your pieces, and then... Now we have another slide. Only this time, the consequences matter. Because there are collectibles to collect on this slide. Okay. Nitro box. Let's see if I can get them all in one go. That water is, I guess, what makes this thing slippery? I guess they're trying to rationalize having a sliding mechanic. Yeah, I suppose. And also, they totally ripped this idea off from Super Mario Galaxy 2. Yeah, because Super Mario Galaxy 2 was totally the It was in the works. And a uh, strange thing about the mechanics for the sliding is, you actually have more, uh, you have a tighter turn when you're taking damage and falling on your butts than when you're standing upright. Can you explain that physics to me in any direction? Up. I'll take that as a yes. I wrote my thesis on that, actually. Um, oh, okay. Oh, no! I got both of the hostages, but I didn't get the F. We're gonna have to do it again. Epic fail. And power eight, we can't come back for a very long time. But the rest of the nitro boxes are over here, so at least that's good. We would have had to come over here anyway. And look at all these one-ups, because they know you die a thousand times on the slide. See? So many. Yeah, so many. Double rainbow. Unlike the uh, cemetery mission, this mission is very short. I mean, it is literally just the home world again, and then this room. A mini boss fight, and then a slide. See how tiny that turn was when I was falling down? It's incredible. I don't know if they wanted you to be able to correct your turns if you were hit or something. It might be plausible. I think I'm gonna chalk it up to shoddy programming and a steep difficulty curve. Because the sliding levels are by far the most annoying things to collect 100% in the game. Because, remember how things are, uh, you can't turn back and try them again or enter the areas again? One mission actually has a slide that you cannot redo once you get to the bottom of it. So you have to collect all the collectibles on it or start the mission over again. Oh Ouch. no! Oh no! Okay, I got it. Thank you, large hitboxes. You should be going for 100% pumpkins, too. No! I'm lost my time! Ow! I think you gave me a kidney stone with that suggestion. <laughs> Gary Horseman, free kidney stone with every... We're up to 39%. This has been a very... And we're over an hour. A very productive... Two levels. Three levels? Okay, here we go. Something like that. It's, uh... Oh, no! We thought we had Knarf in our grasps, but we can't catch him! Instead, we fight... Can you guess? Soda can? Japanese sumo bear! The bosses are as varied as Crash Bandicoots. These boss fights are so rare. This is the other boss fight I was talking about that's so great. And unlike most boss fights, your goal is to get hurt, because he only can be hurt when he's running away from us, and he does that every time you get hurt. So that's the fastest way to deal with this guy, is just get hurt. He'll run away, you can punch him right in the uh, diaper. I, I speak as a veteran speedrunner on this issue. Just take the damage and the deaths because you have 73 jersey tails, you know? What's the worst that can happen? 
you lose one. Uh, the worst that could happen is I lose 72 of them. And also, I spend five minutes fighting this one guy. And he also tries to hit us with his ponytail. Of course, it all does the same damage and affects us in the same way. Yes, even take the death damage. There we go. Yeah. Come on, Flicker. I want to damage the guy. There we go. Oh no! He's running away too fast for us to catch him from um, damage mode. There we go. We have to catch him right before he does an attack, so he'll attack us before running away. That way we can catch up to him after being hit. There we go, and he's dead. And explodes. And that little guy over there in the corner, he's just gonna blow up, I guess, because he doesn't care. Nobody cares. <laughs>